What's happening, Fish and Friends? Welcome to another episode. Out for an evening session. Mine, I haven't been out for an evening session. I don't know how long, over a month and a half. Uh, with my old lady's work schedule and my work schedule, it just usually doesn't work out. So usually it's an early, early morning session for me. But uh, tonight I had some time, so we're gonna hit the uh, the ponds here. Got a little lake here too. I see some some action. Let's, uh, let's stop talking, try to catch some fish. Well, through the swim jig for a little bit there. Let's see if I uh, find anything on this topwater toad. This is that culprit. Incredit frog or whatever they call it. Little ploppy topwater toad type action. I am rolling with a, uh, a left-handed reel. I usually don't use left-handed reels for things where I have to set the hook hard. But uh, we're going to try it tonight. Might end up being more of a comedy roll than me catching fish. I think something just hit it right there off that tree. Couldn't tell because I pulled my lure. It looked like the back leg was messed up. I think something hit at it right there. Let's try that again. Oh, yep, yep, something grabbed it. Two things grabbed it. You know what, I got a follow-up bait tied on. I got that, oh. That was a bass, straight up cut me. Straight up cut me. 50 pound braid, cut me straight off above the knot. Nothing left of the knot. Wow, that hasn't happened on a single fish at all this year. All right, tie down a little loon, a black whopper plopper. Let's see if this does anything different for him. That constant motion, something on top, some sort of sound, maybe that'll get him riled up again. They seem to like that frog. I had three things swirl on it before that one actually grabbed it. Come on. There's one. All right. Just gonna say, come on, little whopper plopper, do your thing. That constant, that constant sound, something on top is what, what they're wanting apparently. All right, well, first fish starting out the trip with the Debo Dink. He's gonna shake, he's gonna do it, he's gonna do it. Don't do it. Usually when you grab them by the gills, they settle down. Okay, well, first uh, first fish of the trip. Not the, uh, not the biggest fish ever. That's a good sign. Second, I think second cast with that plopper, had a bite. I threw right there with the frog and they didn't want it. Dirty water like this, little dinks. Probably like that constant sound, something to kind of hone in on and target. All right, well, let's see. Maybe that's the deal. We just needed some, some loud plopper action. Oh, there's another one. Paused it, look at that. Okay, we are in, we are in the big fish now, folks. We don't call them Debo Dinks for nothing, my goodness. Ooh. That's a hook in the finger if I ever saw one. All right, there we go. Second one of the day, how about that? Man, that is a Debo beast if I've ever seen one. Oh my, all right, well, <laughs> that's funny, see? Man, sometimes, sometimes they just want that constant, constant motion, that sound, something to track, you know, especially in dirty water like this. It's not as much sight as being able to feel that bait. Should have cleared this off thing. It's got a little grass on it. But uh, anyway, being able to feel it, you know, and hear that bait target it, instead of just being able to see it, dirty water like this, something that makes sound, you know, that's why a buzz bait, something like this, a plopper does so well when there's a stain to it. Okay, well, two Debo dinks after switching to the little whopper plopper, the free whopper plopper that I found, little, little whopper plopper 90 size. What's going on out here? Are those fish feeding on little fish? Oh my gosh, as soon as it hit. Oh, little dude, he come off. Oh, and that's what happens when you catch the rod behind you. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. One of those nights. Caught the reel behind, or caught the rod behind me, and uh, yeah, that reel is done. Just spooled it. Just spooled it last night. 
luckily we have one more ride with braid on it here let's uh let's spool this up okay take three this was supposed to be my frog rod put that whopper plopper on here let's try not to catch any more of my boy this is light i'm not gonna have to set the hook hard at all heavy rod like this barely pull into them i'm gonna make that switch i think that lighter rod will help all right, I switched it over to this smaller, this is a, a medium, medium light. I don't remember, lighter power rod. Let's just see if we can get any more distance on this. This 50 pound braid is not what I should have on here, but I didn't figure I was gonna be fishing a Whopper Plopper 90 on here. So uh, yeah, there's one. Oh, little guy, little, little guy. Look at that. Look at that. Just a, a night full of absolute dinkiest Debo dinks. I don't even want to try. All right, there we go. <laughs> Third one of the night. They, they keep getting bigger. Well, that's sarcasm. And there we go. Hit it like he was a little better. He's a dink still, but... When you can ski them like that, you know they're monsters. You know they're monsters. There we go. Now he's trying to fight. Hey, there we go. Another monster. Well, apparently all the smallest fish in here are hungry tonight. I can't get anything over uh, half a pound. Debo, you never get anything over half a pound. I know. Thank you. Another fish. Oh. Something tried grabbing it there. Another dink, it looks like. The dinks are out in force tonight, man. I am, uh, I'm certainly living up to my name tonight. No tarnishing of the reputation tonight. I don't know that we'll get anything over a pound. <laughs> he swiped at it. That was the third time he swiped at it before he got it. Oh, and got off. Wow, it's just, uh, it's just been that kind of night. Just been that kind of night. Can't get anything. That was just another little small fish. Can't get anything of any size to come out. Oh, that one's better. Tighten up my drag just as I was saying that. Better fish. Better fish. Better fish than what I've been catching anyway. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Sun's going down, bigger fish are coming out. All right, well, you're not a toad, sir, but you are much better than what we were catching over a pound and a half. Pound and three quarters, probably. Yes, sir, we will take those kind of guys. I didn't bring my scale. Hopefully, I don't catch a dinosaur tonight. I do not have a scale on me. There we go. A little over a pound and a half. We'll take those guys. Awesome. Nice. All right, can we find anything else? Boy, that one took, that one took some drag. I turned my drag weight down. Didn't want to completely rip it out of one's face. Let's see, any more out here cruising? Oh, another one. Yes, all right. Bite's picking up, huh? This is another little guy, but we'll take you. We'll take you. I thought you were bigger than that. When I say little guy, I mean, yes, absolute, for sure, Debo Dink. Holding true to my name tonight, another, uh, another Dink, barely bigger than the lure. That's a tug on the line, dang it. That's uh, that's how many fish here. I lost that one. That would have been three in just a handful of casts. Definitely helps switching over to this lighter power rod. I'm able to zing it out there farther and a lot easier. There's another one. <laughs> All right, well, maybe it was just the sun going down. Needed to get down a little bit farther. Now they're coming out to eat the top water. Oh, he came off right as we got him up here. Another little tiny guy. We appreciate you, though. Oh, just some vegetation. All right, all right, here we go. We're not going to count that cast. That one didn't even start going. Come on, let's hope. I was just going to say, let's hope they're not done. <laughs> oh, he might go over a pound. He's pulling a little bit harder. Oh, son of a gun. No stretch. No stretch, and I keep losing them. 
Gosh. What's up, dude? Is that Tom? All right, fisher friends, that was the end of the video. I ended up catching like four more small fish. Uh, I didn't have my camera on. Man, it was it was one of those nights. I started off by breaking a fish off. I haven't had that happen since last year like that. I mean, set the hook and 50 pound braid. 50 pound spider wire, I just put that on not too long ago. So I don't know if there was a little nick or a cut in it. I don't know. After that, I decided to catch my spinning rod behind me. Uh, blew up that reel and I may have broke that spinning rod. Not sure, I'm gonna have to check, but uh, that might be toast too. And then I struggled to catch fish of any amount of size and I thought, man, I'm not even gonna get a video out of this. I missed some fish, I broke some stuff, but you know what, this is real fishing. This is what happens. I have so many people uh, you know, message me and say, Debo, I'm struggling, I can't catch big fish, or I can't catch any fish, or I have nights where I just lose lures and bad stuff happens. Well, you know what, that happens to all of us. So many people don't show this kind of stuff, but I think it helps you newer folks out there that I have bad days, other people on YouTube have bad days, pros have bad days. If you ever watch MLF or the Bassmasters, there's elite level pros that sometimes struggle to catch at least one weighable fish. So it happens to everyone. The most important thing is time on the water. The more you get out there, the more chances you put yourself in to catch fish, the better chance you're going to have. If you're only going once a month, that may be a good or bad time, but the more often you get out there, the better chance you have of catching fish. So that's it for me tonight. You see my buddy Tom was out there. Uh, he's just a gentleman that I've met fishing local spots. He was out and uh, kind of hit me up. We talked a little bit, but he's always out. So Tom, this is a shout out to you. Thanks for always watching. Thanks for always saying hi when you're out there. And if anybody else sees me while I'm out, don't be afraid to say hi or come over to me and talk. Uh, I will certainly do that. I'll keep my distance so as not to get too close and spread the Debo germs on you. But that's it for me for today. I got to go fix some of those rods and reels, get stuff re-spooled, and uh, get ready for some more fishing this weekend. I hope you're all fishing as well. But uh, that's it. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time.